All right. Okay. So, I am back in the game, and just to show you real quick something I could not do last time, I'm currently playing the Handler. There is my dog. He is a good boy. Um, this. I can summon Armadillos of Death now. So, uh, since last time, I googled how do I get the Summoner unlocked, which is a second class in the game. And we already knew from those of you who were joined me on my previous journey, that I had to go to this altar, I had found the altar, and I had to buy a book. I had found the book on the altar, and it costs 15 blood mist essence. I could never find that. And what I had to do was zone out and zone in to the woods zone, like 10 times until the sky was pink and there was a blood moon happening. Then the little things I had been looking for were everywhere. So I farmed them, and I got the book, and I unlocked Summoner. So now I'm a Handler and a Summoner, and we are gaining XP toward this. Right now, our, own, our main skill is Summon Spiky Boy. Um, it costs some of our health to summon it, but also we can detonate it for a ton of damage. That's a bit loud. I'm going to turn that down just a touch. Uh, options, audio, let's do like, that's fine. Okay, so we can summon those. Also, they don't naturally regen, but the dog's, uh, the dog's ability to do a support healing howl can heal them. And the passive uh, you get for being a summoner is passive health regen. So I've got a health regen dog and a health regen here, so I've got two forms of regen going on me all the time. Now, the next thing I did is I went into adventure mode. I thought that while I was in adventure mode, I would not be progressing the story at all and I could safely play it off stream. So you see this is adventure mode, but if I click down here, I can change it back to story mode. And then here's where I was in story mode. Now, in adventure mode, I did come across a couple of random bosses and killed them on like the second try each. Uh, wait, y'all didn't see it, I can lie. I killed them on the first try each and I unlocked a couple of weird card things. Um. One of them, I think this game was the summoner, was uh, Blood Bond. Your summons can absorb damage from you. Uh, Blood Stream, I got from, um, I think, just some random boss I killed that gives uh, Gray Health regen. I had to look up what Gray Health was. Apparently, anytime I take damage, half of that damage becomes Gray Health and regenerates back over time. So if you, get, if you take 50 damage, 25 of it becomes Gray Health and slowly comes back over time. It's Tom Kench from League of Legends. So no matter your class, that happens. This makes your gray health regen super fast. And then I also got this. Your summons have more health from, um, I believe there was like a fairy lady in the woods in adventure mode and she gave me a quiz. Like, what's your, you know, like it was kind of like, would you let one person die to save many? Stuff like that. Uh, it, you know, and, and it's just, per it's like a personality quiz. But after doing the quiz, she gave me this. So I've got that now. So that's where we're at now. Um, I'm assuming summon. Yeah, I don't think the dog means summons. I think the summons are like the, the things I create that then I detonate. Uh, I also have a ring I've equipped that uh, gives me a little bit of life stealing for each summon I have out. And Sage Stone increases XP earned by 10%. And then for those who haven't been here before, uh, I've got this weird gun made out of cubes that shoots cubes and then they come back. So if I'm shooting something close to me, it's just infinite ammo until the gun overheats. It literally does not run out of ammo, ever. All right, so with that, let's continue the story. I've caught you guys up on where I'm at right now. I have seen some other YouTube videos for some other stuff that people found um, in the game, such as, let's see, where was I? Was I at Tiller's Rest? Brillo's Garden. Uh, where? No, that was something else. Let's check this out. Uh, there was like an engineer. Someone found an engineer spec that has like just like a heavy gun, tons of plate armor, and they can put the gun on a tripod and have it fire on its own. Uh, but it's in it's in an area I haven't even been to yet. Okay, this map I finished last time. I had just done that. So let's go back out into this area. Mud, did you get something that was activated when your clip ran out last night? Was thinking whether it might work with a square gun. Um. Oh, I think I know what you're talking muck about. Bobble, muck luck, bobble, muck luck, luck. Is that a ring or an amulet? 
Mm. Spending at least 30% of a firearms magazine to deal damage increases melee damage by 10% for 7 seconds. So that might. And then I've got tons of rings. Increase reload speed by 5% for 15 seconds after reloading. Is it that one? No, I'm not getting any buffs on the buff bar at the bottom. That's not working for that gun. That would be kind of cool, but shame. Um, oh, I also did get my first mutation, which automatically went into this sword. Uh, reinvigorate. Reduces the stamina cost of charged melee. I didn't know there was a charged melee until I got that item. That's when I found out. Oh, let me adjust the... Uh, hang on. Okay, that's fine. All right. Let's see. Where do we go now? So summoning those does cost hit points. But it will not kill you. But if you look at my hit points, are regenerating right now from the dog and uh, summoner passives. Oh, the gun overheated. Yeah. <laughs> Healing grenade. Seems kind of OP with no ammo. Uh, <laughs> it's it's pretty strong. But I have a much stronger pistol than that that I swap to for some boss fights. That um, it does way more damage. It also has a power-up ability that does a lot of damage. We've been calling it the Eye of Sauron because that's what it looks like. But it, uh, it does have limited ammo. Or like it does run out of ammo, I should say. So that's the regen hell. It's meant for like group play, but it works on the summoned hollows. Does this boss respawn? No, there's a boss sleeping here that's like a lady with like a horse and we uh, defeated her yesterday. And if you didn't see it, it was on the first try. How often do you find new weapons in the game? Um. On occasion, like whenever you beat a boss, you get some an item from the boss. It'll always have be like a weird thing and you could take it to a person in town and they could forge it into a weapon, kind of like Dark Souls. Um, but then just randomly, you'll occasionally find other stuff, but not insanely frequently for that. Okay, I've never been over this way. So we're back in like the Fey lands. God, the sky is thick. Oh, man. Still got me. Okay, reloading. All 
All right, checkpoint. I'll interact with this to save. That also gets rid of that curse stuff, but it does unsummon the boys. What is this? Oh, it's the healing water thing. So this gives you health regen for 60 seconds, which stacks with the <laughs> two other forms of health regen I've got. Got a whole army to help? Yeah. And you could swap one of the classes. Like, right now I'm Handler and Summoner. But there's also Engineer, which has a tur- Whoa. What the- God, you guys scared me. Calm down. What is this? Oh! Hi! Uh... Do you like weather? How intriguing! It would seem this twisted world is not yet depleted of surprises. I greet you, then, and welcome you to the realm of the Fae, or what so remains. I am Numue, artisan, seer, goddess of the Fae, and counselor to the one true king. Or so I was. Yeah, he's dead now. Still, it is my gift to see what cannot be seen, and to forge what cannot be forged. So then, strange one, what brings you thus before me? Uh, I'm searching for the world's most powerful creatures. They have something I need. <sighs> the kingdom is in disarray, strange one. The one true king has been deposed, but the manner of his deposition has wrought unforeseen consequences. <laughs> he was stabbed in the back. We already killed the one who stabbed him. Everyone. Now, an imposter sits upon the throne, a deceiver and a fraud. They must be slain if I am to fix what is broken, and perhaps if you are to find what you seek. I cannot ask this of you, but were you to accept this burden, to slay the deceiver, you would find them in the floors above, beyond an opulent door carved of their own vanity. Perhaps they are a powerful creature of the kind you seek. And if I can provide you with wisdom or aid, you need only ask. What can you craft? Namue's artisanship is yours to peruse. Hexward ring prevents curse blight. Fairy needle. That's a consumable. I've got a couple of those. And then some unknown. This only takes three luminite crystal? Eh, buy it to unlock it. Take care as you go. The twine I wonder if I could just equip and unequip it when I need to get rid of uh, curse. All right. Yeah, I swear I'm looking at her chest for scientific reasons. What the heck? She's got like a giant rock for a torso. Look at her nails. That was wild. Artists did a good job with that one. All right, go depose a fake king. Easy, let's do it. These new summons are very noisy. Did she give me a quest marker? She said the floors above. There's an elevator over there that goes up. 
Wait, there's an exclamation point over there. Maybe that's it? Uh, that would kill me. I might need to use the red, because I leave, th okay, this was one of those things where the elevator was going past this floor and I leaped off the elevator to get here. I think I might have to use the red stone to get back, because falling damage in this game is freaking brutal. I think we read that book last time. Hold on, was that a pit? Oh, can I drop through here? Okay. Oh, it's over. Where am I? Uh, actually, I'm not too far off course. From here, I think I can actually get on the elevator and take it to the top. Oh, hey, boys. How does Summoner feel? My Summoner level is only level 2 or 3, but it's a very nice addition to Handler. Forward and Hegla forward and then over to the right. I'm on fire. Uh oh. Alright, I just got super health regen from the dog. This ain't looking good. That cube blocks all projectiles and gets stronger for each projectile it blocks. And just does a lot of damage in a line. Damn. Is it over? Dog needs a heal. Okay, so uh, for those who weren't here last time, we got a magic quill that draws in unfinished doors, and we didn't have it the last time we were here. Have you tried using summoner instead of main class as your handler? Yes, whatever your main class is gives you one additional skill. If summoner is your main class, you gain the ability that if you do damage to your own minions, like that, it will enrage them and they will do 35% more damage and have 25% more movement speed for like 20 seconds or something. If Handler is your main class, then when you go down state, your pet will try to revive you, which is honestly pretty great when you're soloing. Uh, so I, I after trying both, uh, both combinations, I kept Handler as the primary. I don't know if I'm going the right way, but I've certainly not been here before. Iron Borrow. Holy hell. Kill them all, friends. Whoa, look at that. Ah, it overheated. This isn't looking good. For now.
Wait, there's an NPC up there. Oh no, <laughs> that's just my dog. My dog shows up as an NPC on the mini-map if I'm not paying attention. Okay, that's a dead end. Almost dead. I should not have tried to melee that fella. Regen's doing very nice though. Again, I basically stacked up summoner regen, support dog regen, and then gray health regen. So when I lose health, half of it comes back very quickly, and then the other half more slowly, but it will come back. Which I like. Kind of has a blood mage feel to it. Especially since I have to sacrifice health to make the spiky boys. This is where I need to go for Nimue's quest, but we'll keep looking around. There's something purple up there. Fey Shaman Ring. Increase health regen by 0.25 and relic use speed by 25%. Oh, it's over. That's pretty major. Your relic use speed is the uh, thing in the bottom left over. corner. It's like your Estus. So it makes it a faster animation. And also you get more health regen just all the time. So it's probably a quarter hit point per second. Whatever that thing is, he thick. And he fast. One of my porcupines is missing. I don't know where he's at. Speaking of Blood Mage, when are you planning on uh, starting Dragon Age 2? Not sure. So whenever I am interested in multiple games, I tend to uh, prioritize the newer one just because it's better for business, but I do want to get to that. So like right this second, I'd like to play Dragon Age 2 and Cross Code, but the higher priority for me, uh, because I, for, for me, I'm just as happy playing this as I am Dragon Age 2. But right now, this you know this is the hot new thing. 
So this uh, is higher priority. Um, when Soto comes out, uh, the new Guild Wars 2 expansion, like the first playthrough of that will be higher priority. Um, Baldur's Gate 3, oh my god. Baldur's Gate 3 will be high priority. And then anytime we're done with the, you know projects like that, I'll be jumping back on to uh, the other items that I'm doing. Crosscode, um, Dragon Age playthrough, stuff like that. Oh, uh, I mentioned this earlier. I did not know there was a charged melee attack. But I got a mutation that benefits from it. All right. Wait, what? Invulnerable child. It's Skyrim all over again. Alright, I don't know where the, the, the boys are, so I'm going to detonate them. And then when they cool down, I can resummon them. Dude, that's two per, like mid-level enemies fighting. Saw guy and big guy. Summoner level up. New perk. Outrage. I'm going to have to remember to see what that is later. Ow! Okay. Woo! All right. Outrage. Sacrifice will grant 3% lifesteal for each minion sacrifice for 10 seconds. Okay. He didn't even hesitate. So far, everything here has tried to kill me on sight. I think it's perfectly normal to expect the children to be creepy also. Like, you ever done Diablo 2 Act 3? Like, literally most of the enemies are creepy children. Also, every horror game ever. It's over. Like an elf child? What was that motion? It's like she swiped something from me. Where are you running? Can I go through that? No, I cannot. At this point, I'm not sure if I am in a, still the quest area or like a side dungeon, which is fine either way. I just don't know. There's a lot of NPC icons on the mini map. 